I'm going to be showing you one of the advanced side of the Case Institute. They are here doing some tissue culture on pineapple. Very advanced. This institution is very, very, very technical in a lot of things that it do. We are here now at the horticulture section unit where they are propagating um, pineapple, a special variety of pineapple. You call it the Spanish red. Right. So you can tell me about the Spanish red. That is the only place that this pineapple exists now here in Jamaica is yes. right here at Case. And they use tissue culture to grow and propagate this um this new um type of a variety of pineapple what is the advantage of this variety or right, the, the spanish red has two two things about it it's both for consumption and the leaves are for fiber for so, animals um no for the use in material making of material like when you say make a material like cloth oh, oh okay so it's actually a fiber 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 plant right? oh, it's a fiber plant right okay um and you don't know it's not forage like because i know goats like to eat um mm, pineapple. pineapple yes and the, and the leafy part but I, I don't think we have explored that, that, aspect, that aspect as yet but okay. it is an it is an option because we've realized that the goats do eat the mb2 yes they eat the ND too. They eat the maca looking one too, you know, they eat all of them. So let us have a look at these pineapple. That, this is it? Yes. Looks like grass. <laughs> this looks like grass. Okay. So in the initial stages, this is a, we call it a plantlet. This is a small plant, it looks like it took out the plant to look when it's larger, but um this is where it starts all right after this stage we transfer it to pot or grow bag okay and then from there we would move to, to the, the fields all right. how long does this take to bear usually from this stage all right um it should take at least six months in this stage before it is planted out and oh then, six months right and then after planting four to six months after planting we take um seven to eight months before we induce and then five months um before harvest okay right. Right. so is it, it does it is it uh faster bring the food quicker than the other types no not not necessarily i think it's because of the the, the, the color Mm -hmm. one that it has an appeal and the, the bricks content also so we're looking at having it compared to the md2 right okay and so and usually is a sweet pineapple sweet okay i see this is your culture this is high technology <laughs> so all of this research with tissue culture is being done here at case and then we, we have a yes. we have a bio factory that has been constructed has not been equipped as yet, but we're looking at equipping it and then we will then do that aspect of it, the tissue right. culture aspect on campus. Because almost any plant can be propagated, propagated from tissue? From tissue culture, yes. Okay. Very, very interesting so science. It allows you, because we have 50,000 plants, so it allows you to have mass propagation. Mass propagation. Very short so how, how you have an idea how, how this is actually done? I mean to have mass propagation as you said. Right. Is it without getting too technical? I mean No, you you would have the separation of, of plant the, the plant material, the period material, um, into very small pieces. Okay. Alright? So after it grows out, after the, the, the cells start to develop, you place it into a solution. As a matter of fact, we have a Dr. Webster here who is actually that, that person. person who does that right, right. right. okay All right so it, it goes out in small containers in a in a controlled environment and we then select the stronger plants to move forward into the hard enough process okay right. very interesting because um we used to feed our go to the pineapple head we used to just one of the things we used to just go into you know, halfway tree and so forth and we used to just collect 
Yeah, that's what we used to feed our goat and collect all the waste. Pineapple, you know, papa, what else? Mango, anything. anything at all. So what we used to do, we used to just go and collect all the waste from all the sellers in halfway tree and around crossroad and so forth. We just ride around and all these people that sell fruit and we collect it. Two, three, four, ten bag of um, but You are feed basically mangoes now. And then we are here feeding. We feed mangoes, you know. Because one of the things with the, with the, with the animals is that the high amount of energy content that is in fruits yes. and vegetables and because that energy is so high milk production shoot through the roof and that's the advantage of um of fruits and, and fruit type material with um with the goats then very nice all right so any other interesting thing you do here i see you look like you're doing sweet potato yeah we actually do the propagation that house Special variety also. So here again, again Dr. Western is doing some research on sweet potatoes in terms of crossing them. So, what is this? So into, these are ornamental oh, plants. Okay. And then that's your department. Yes. So why are you starting them in sand though? Sand is the better medium. So when you're doing potted plant, I always plant it in, in dirt and manure, like, like for example the mulberry. When I plant it, I always do it in soil. Is it better to do it in sand? No, the soil, the soil is very, so you, you have a ratio that you mix the, the, the soil with the sand, with the, with the, with the manure, oh. in order for you to have that, that All right. soil. Because I just use manure alone sometimes, <laughs> well, you know, when it's cured. Okay. That's what I always do. Like compost. Eh? Yeah, compost stage, yeah. And it seemed to do okay, but not, I don't know if it's perfect, because I usually get a 50 to 60% catch rate okay. when I plant the stick them. But a lot of times, uh, in, in order for you to catch it, it's that microclimate, so you don't have it too much water, you don't have it too little. You have that microclimate that contains the moisture while having the heat that forces the, the germination. Mm -hmm. And all of this is automatic water and time on all of that. <laughs> Mr. Brown, this is high tech. Yeah. Yeah, 